Hello everyone, this is uh, Fire Centaur here coming to you live uh, from Slutal Island. Uh, right now I'm actually standing in the um, in the marketplace area where you can get the uh, latest Slutal tools and I'm actually over here by the Fragile box. Um, in the Fragile box here we put in uh, developmental tools that work with our, our latest development code uh, located in uh, our open source trunk. Um, and uh, just uh, up here I've got uh, the latest uh, Slutal scoreboard, a uh, Slutal award system that uh, works with our latest development code. And um, it's actually called the Slutal award system trunk December 2010 revision 2. So uh, this now works uh, with our latest code and um, configuring it's pretty simple. Um, I'm just going to show you my uh, Moodle site. Here's my uh, my Moodle site and I'm logged in as the administrator and I'm going to go to my course here and uh, to configure this thing we just need to click on my Sloodle con controller and then scroll down to the Sloodle API HQ click on that and go to generate note card that's going to generate you a bunch of text so then we're just gonna um, highlight this and uh, copy it to the clipboard copy and then I'm gonna go back to Second Life and I'm gonna open up my scoreboard and I'm gonna scroll down uh, to where the uh, there should be a, a Sloodle uh, underscore config uh, note card in here and uh, when I open that up all you have to do is paste your settings in so um, that you just copied so there we go and there's one other setting that we have to put in here it's a uh, set colon scoreboard channel and then a pipe character and then a number so we're gonna put negative uh, 10,000 okay and then down here um, you can add a facilitator a facilitator is who can can do special can, who can actually add points to the scoreboard so I've got facilitator pipe fire um, space centaur that's that's my avatar name um, and make sure you do the proper spelling and then down here I've got um, a scoreboard channel oh we don't need two okay I'm gonna get rid of that and then uh, so the last the last one we need is uh, Sloodle EOF that's uh, S L O O D L E E O F once you type in all that stuff you just press save and uh, this scoreboard will configure itself you can see it's reading the configuration note card and it's loading up okay once it loads up um, you it will display uh, which uh, award scoreboards that you have in your course here you can see trivia scoreboard now let's just go back and see where that came from in our Moodle course here I click on here and you'll notice that in my class I actually have a trivia scoreboard now how did I get that well let's just turn editing on up here and uh, what I what I did previous to this was I went to add an activity and I went down to the Sloodle award system now this Sloodle award system is the scoreboard that lives on your Moodle site so you can see the scores and stuff so let's just add a new one so I'm gonna add a new one um, and I'm gonna call it uh, uh, fires scoreboard fires scoreboard and I'm just going to press save and return to course and now when I do that you'll notice that it actually gets renamed as Sloodle Award System Fire Scoreboard. Let's just get rid of this uh, pre-appended text. So I'm going to go to Edit, and I'm going to change it to just Fire's Scoreboard. OK. And I'll just press uh, Save and return to course. So here we go. There it is, Fire Scoreboard. And so let's just click on that. And uh, it says, oh, games list. No games have been created for this scoreboard yet. Okay, so let's just go back into Second Life. And you'll see here it just displays a trivia scoreboard. So let's, um, let's actually just reset this. Let's go up to, um, I'm going to go down to build. I'm going to go down to scripts and reset scripts into selection. And um, it's going to reset the scripts of the scoreboard and we'll see both of those scoreboards should be listed now there we go so it says fire scoreboard and trivia scoreboard so I'm gonna click on fire scoreboard and now it uh, it's it, that's selected and it shows that uh, so it says I have 2,000 points fantastic well I'll tell you what let's start a new game so I'm gonna press new game and uh, it's going to do a countdown. I can cancel this if I want by clicking it again. But let's press uh, let's press new game, and we'll let it count down. It's going to start a new game on the scoreboard. So it's going to set all the points to zero. And now it says that um, 
no players have entered the game yet. So now your students can just click on the join game button up here and uh, they will be added to this game. So here we see it says Fire Centaur has zero points. Now you as a teacher can just click on this name here and uh, what will happen is you'll get a little little window that says how many points do you want to add. So you can now add uh, 100 points to that student and 100 points will be displayed and then uh, or you can add like say let's say 500 extra 500 points um, or we click on them again and let's say that uh, we're going to subtract let's say uh, 100 points so now they only have uh, 500 points so that's essentially the scoreboard um, you can have up to 10 people displayed in the scoreboard and I hope it's useful for your uh, games in Second Life this is a free open source scoreboard and it's part of the Sloodle project Anyways, that's uh, it for now. Oh, before I go, let's just flip back to Moodle, and we'll just do a refresh here on the Fire's scoreboard in Moodle and see what it displays. Okay, so here it says it says that there's um, Fire scoreboard, the game list. It shows that there's uh, three games here that have been played. Um, so we have game number 40, 41, and 42. And um, let's just uh, click on the new game. We'll go to details, and we'll see what the scores were. And here it says that uh, full name, uh, Fire Centaur uh, played, and he's got uh, 500 points. So now uh, users can see their score um, in, in, on Moodle and also uh, in Second Life. So we got 500 points there, 500 points here. So please remember this is uh, beta code, so there may be, may be some bugs, but I wanted to uh, release it in the wild here in the, uh, in the Sloodle Fragile area. So uh, please uh, uh, test it, and uh, if you find any bugs with it, just uh, send me a message, and I'll do my best to, um, to fix it. I also encourage other developers of the Sloodle project to uh, take a look at my code and see if they can find any, any errors, I'm sure. I'm sure they'll be able to, and um, feel free to contribute. Thanks a lot. Love to see this thing uh, take off and, uh, and be developed by others as well. Bye for now. This is Fire Centaur signing out.